what's going on YouTube. So when it comes to the Gamergate thing, I have a vague understanding of what it started from, how far it's gone, who are all the people involved. I don't know all of that. I've tried to understand it. I've watched videos about it. I've looked up articles because I was thinking maybe as a woman and someone who games, maybe I should talk about this thing. Maybe I should write about it. You know, I looked into it as much as I could and I still feel lost. <laughs> so it's really hard for me to comment on all of it. I am not even going to attempt it. What I did want to talk about though was Anita Sarkeesian. Now when it comes to Anita, I've seen a few of her videos on uh, feminist frequency. I've, you know, out of curiosity, I just wanted to see what she was about, what message was she spreading when it came to gaming. I had to know. <laughs> so this was like months ago I checked out her channel. Of course her comments on those videos are disabled for whatever reason, I guess because of threats and harassment and then also just people challenging her, you know, criticizing her. And for whatever reason, they are all disabled, but it does not take a know-it-all to know that people do not agree with her message. The problem with Anita is that she takes this idea of misogyny in video games, which I guess to an extent most of us can agree that, yeah, that does happen at times in gaming. But the problem is she takes it and she exaggerates it to the fullest. I mean, she goes so far that she doesn't even make mention of when it's reversed. Because we could think of plenty of games where we are killing men, plenty of times where men are getting harassed online through gaming. Nobody is exempt from this, okay? When it comes to gaming and being online and talking trash and trolling people, nobody is exempt. Everybody gets trolled okay and harassed at one point or another it's just the way it is so to for for anita to just take women and say they are the only victims in this they are the ones that are getting harassed and they are the quote unquote damsel in distress in these video games she loves using that uh, by the way, that damsel in distress where women are just there to be saved and there to be taken care of or <laughs> there to be men's playthings or whatever she comes up with. She focuses on that and she, she just disregards everything else. And that's where the problem lies. She does not see the whole picture. And even if she does, she doesn't talk about the whole picture. She just focuses on on what she stands for, exaggerates the crap out of it, and then she banks on it. I was looking at her Twitter last night and, you know, this news about her becoming a character in Towerfall, which is a game I've never played, but I guess now she's uh, a character that was inspired by her and they're calling her inspirational. So whatever, she's in a video game, so people are really upset about that, but She's banking. She's making money off this stuff. She was on ABC News. She goes around the, uh, the country. She speaks at like colleges and she's talking to people about this thing. She's spreading this message, this exaggerated message, and people are eating it up, which pisses me off. I hate that because I feel like she's speaking for a huge group, half the population <laughs> when it comes to gaming. She's speaking for all women and when we don't want her to. We don't want her to represent us. We don't want her to be the face of women in gaming because we know that much of what she's saying is very exaggerated and it's way pulled out of proportion, you know? And I just, that's what bothers me because I've heard her speak, I've read her tweets, I've seen articles, uh, you know, quoting her and all that. And sometimes she says things and I just like, I, it's cringeworthy. I, I, I hate it. I even watched the ABC News piece about her and man did they sell that whole idea of gaming just being ruled by men and women just being totally disrespected. They sold it so good and I just imagined as, as I was watching it, I imagined my mom watching a news piece like this and just totally eating it up. You know, that that middle aged, you know, kind of mom, stay at home mom or mom that's just watching this news. I just I pictured all of them believing it. And it made me upset because I've had discussions with my mom. You know, my mom's very gullible at times when it comes to the news and and stuff. You know, she's just that typical mom who kind of like watches stuff and she'll be like, oh, look at that. Like video games, they are bad. Look, you know, <laughs> and it can be frustrating because I, I try and talk sense into her like, mom, that's not the whole picture. Like, hear me out. And 
that's the first thing I thought of when I saw the ABC News piece. I thought of, man, there's so many parents and so many older people who have no idea about gaming culture, don't understand, you know, what it's truly about. They are watching this thing and they are buying it. And that pissed me off. Like, just the thought of it, I was like, oh, that was so annoying to see that piece. It was so cringeworthy. And I was very happy to see that it had a lot of dislikes on the video. That just made me smile because people are smart enough to know that that was bull crap. Like that, especially if you're a gamer, you watch that. And I'll put it in the description too, so you guys can check it out if you haven't. You will watch it and you will just want to poke your eyes out. Like there's just <laughs> no way you're going to feel okay after seeing that because you know it's not true. You know that it's very exaggerated. And that's the whole problem with this thing. And the fact that she's banking off all of this, she's getting famous from this. And another thing that bothers me about her is the harassment that she says is going on. I believe her. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying she's lying. I think that yes, she does get harassed. I mean, it's right in front of our eyes. We could see it daily on her Twitter. We see it, okay? The problem with it though, is that she's focusing on men again. She's not referring to women who are also telling her that they don't agree with her either. It's not just men who are doing it, but she she picks at that and she throws it out there like, oh, these men, they're harassing me. This is what I deal with, deal with on a daily basis. This is what I go through. And she'll like retweet what they're saying. She'll take screenshots of what they're saying. But I, I was searching for a while last night. I was looking through her timeline and I didn't see any mention of a woman doing it at all, which is bullcrap because I know women are standing up against her, but she does not make mention of that. It's always about the men and that bugs me. She's, she's a fraud. To me, she's a fraud. She's not showing the whole picture. She's capitalizing on one piece of it and running with it and she's getting famous off of it for better or for worse, whether she's getting harassed or praised, she is getting famous. <laughs> It's crazy to me and that's what ultimately bugs me is that she does not show the whole picture and she's making gaming and she's making gamers look awful when really that's not even the half of what goes on out here we all game on a daily basis right we either even if we're not gaming we're thinking about gaming we're writing about gaming we're talking about gaming we are gamers we have been gaming for years some of us since we were little tiny toddlers right we've been doing this our whole lives so for her to come out here and say this is what's going on with women <laughs> just to say that and try and misrepresent us like that pisses me off i hate it i, I don't like it i don't appreciate it I wish I could debate this girl. I shoot, I that would be awesome. <laughs> I think if she could debate a true gamer, a girl who's been gaming a long time and and I would love to see that. Even if it's not one of us or somebody I know or me myself, I would love to see her debate some girls and actually get the full story. Let these girls speak out and and say how it really is. Yes, we do get harassed sometimes. Yes, we do get, you know, criticized or we, we whatever, you know, but who doesn't? When it comes to gaming, like I said before, especially if we, if we play online, we talk to people online, we write for a site or something like that, we get harassed from time to time. But it doesn't matter what sex you are, it doesn't matter what nationality you are, you're going to get it from time to time. And that's just how it is. I've made videos about this on, in the past where I talked about how women, I feel as a woman, we don't need a red carpet. We don't need special treatment. We're all human beings. We're, no, you know, disrespect or, or um, harassment should exist, but it's going to exist. And it happens to everybody. I don't care if you're a male or a female. It's going to happen. Okay, so to just look at women and think, oh, poor things, like they don't deserve this. They, they need special treatment. They should never be harassed. What about the men? Why aren't we saying that about men as well? That's what bugs me. I always want to stand up for men too, because we're all human beings. We should all be treated the same. <laughs> so to just make a huge deal about what women are getting, um, the disrespect they're getting, and overlooking what men are going through as well, that bothers me. I feel like we should we should group gamers as a whole, not separated like that, and to you know make it seem like as women we're just getting the the worst of it. That's not true. Okay, everybody does. <laughs> so. That's all I really wanted to say about this. There's a whole picture here that Anita just doesn't, doesn't acknowledge. She goes around it. She picks out what's convenient for her. 
and she she talks about games that are convenient to talk about to to push her agenda and that's really what this is all about it's her agenda it's not all of gamers agenda it's just hers and I don't support it I don't support her I respect her as a human being but I don't support what she says so let me know what you guys think about this especially if you're a woman how do you feel about Anita uh, let me know. I'm curious. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.